Who is ready to crank it up a notch? The first step in the industrial manufacture of nitric acid is the catalytic oxidation of ammonia as shown in the equation below. The reaction is run using 852 grams of ammonia and excess oxygen. Oh, so nice, Mr. Boylan gave us the balanced chemical equation. All right, two things we need to do here. One, how many moles of NO are formed? Two, how many moles of H2O are formed? All right, as always with every stoichiometry problem, once you have your balanced chemical equation, start your dimensional analysis with what you're provided in the problem. In this case, 852 grams of ammonia. Boom, set up your dimensional analysis. Boom. Now, I'm trying to get to moles of NO, and it's tempting to do this, but you would be wrong. Recognize that the relationship between ammonia and NO in the balanced chemical equation is a relationship of moles. Not grams of one thing to moles of something else, it's moles of ammonia to moles of NO. So, my first step is to convert to moles of ammonia. Moles of that thing I'm starting with. When it's grams to moles, I determine that mass of one mole from the periodic table. I'm gonna add together the mass of one nitrogen and three hydrogen. 14.0 So the molar mass of NH3 is 17.024. Let's set up our next conversion factor. This time, moles NH3 on the bottom, and now I can go to moles of NO on the top. The relationship in moles between these two things is given to me in the balanced chemical equation as 4 to 4. Calculator time. I'm going to pause right here. I've just solved for my number of moles of NH3. I've just gone this far in the dimensional analysis. Let's keep going. So my number of moles of NO, 50.0. Boom. Again, stop, think. Do I have the correct number of sig figs? Yes. And always go back to your balanced chemical equation. After this first step, I determined that I had 50 moles of NH3. And the relationship to NH3 to NO is 4 to 4. How does 4 compare to 4? It's the same. So however many moles of NH3 that I have, I'm going to make the same number of moles of NO. All right, not done yet. This is a two-part question. How many moles of H2O are formed? Again, start with the amount that we're given in the problem. Boom. Setting up my dimensional analysis. Remember, I'm first going to convert to moles of NH3 because when I'm comparing two things in my balanced chemical equation, it's a mole-to-mole -mole relationship, not a gram-to-mole relationship. I already determined the mass in grams in one mole from the earlier step. As I complete this final conversion factor, my relationship between H2O and ammonia is 6 to 4. Calculator time. I get 75.0 moles H2O. Boom. I have correct number of sig figs. All the units that I don't want cancel out. And importantly, go back to the balanced chemical equation. How does 6 compare to 4? It's one and a half times as big as 4. I know that I have 50 moles of NH3 in this 852 grams of NH3. 75 moles of H2O is one and a half times as big as 50. And we are done.